Hello lovers, welcome back. So today is your lucky day because I'm gonna walk you through one of the most popular dating apps, Hinge. This is a really cool tutorial. If you missed any of the other tutorials I've done on dating apps, then you're, se you're setting yourself up, okay? Setting yourself up for failure. But um, today I'm gonna walk you through Hinge um, as an app that is a little bit different than the other apps that I've talked about because of the ability to hide or show a lot of the features. So what exactly does that mean? Does that even make sense? Well, I'm going to tell you, or at least I'm going to show you in just a quick second. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. My name is Jasmine Diaz, celebrity matchmaker and dating strategist. And I'm constantly doing these videos on dating and relationships. And so, um, so I definitely encourage you to go ahead and take a look at the previous videos uh, because there's so much good information, so much good stuff. So are you an online dater? Is this something that you do all the time? Are you trying to find a new app to tap into? Well, if you don't know much about Hinge, this is a really great opportunity for you to get your feet wet and understanding how the app works without actually having to download it. But um, yeah, the process is gonna be straightforward. I do want to start off by saying that I am an Android user, so a lot of the information that you're gonna get at least at the very beginning of this video, is for users like me. But um, if you are an iPhone user, it's very easy to find the app in the App Store. Uh, but real quickly, you'll see that all you gotta do is just type in the name Hinge and Hinge pops right on up. Um, if you are struggling for some reason, um, let me know and I'd be more than happy to send you a couple screenshots on how you can find it. So as it's loading, I do want to share that I also provide uh, weekly tips on dating apps. If you are looking to further explore your dating life or walk through the journey of love and, ha and you're having some hard times, go ahead and look at my description and um, join our text community because every single week there's new things, new apps, new how-tos, new everything. All right, so now that the app is installed, I'm gonna open it up and what you will see is the front screen. You will have two options here. Um, one option to connect through Facebook, uh, another option to connect through your phone. Now, putting a pin in this before we move on. I am a big believer in separating your personal life from your dating life. If you look at a couple videos, um, I do mention this quite a bit primarily because I believe in dating safely. And unfortunately, dating apps uh, as an industry, there's no one set way to safeguard uh, users from scams or people that wanna take advantage of them. So I always encourage my own clients or even those in the community to separate their personal from their um, from their dating. So um, what does that mean in terms of connecting with Facebook? I mean that I personally would not connect through Facebook, but if you perhaps live in a city, state, or country that um, makes adding your phone number difficult, then connecting through Facebook may be your only way. It doesn't mean that there's going to be um, some data that's gonna be shared on your personal profile on Facebook. It's just that I like to have like a separation of church and state. So, um, so I tend to put things in different spaces, but you can absolutely use Facebook to connect with, um, or at least to set up your profile if your phone number is not accessible. But for the case of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect um, through phone. So um, what for some of you, you might actually see your phone number pop up. Others, you might have to enter it. For me here, you'll see that it comes up with my number, obviously blurring the screen. But I'm going to go ahead and click it. And uh, what happens after that is that the app will send you a verification code, which is required in order for you to proceed. And as it's verifying, you know, yay, it'll give you this screen. You can either create an account or you can pre-fill with Facebook. Again, your choice on whether or not to connect your, um, 
Hinge account with your Facebook account. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and create an account. And in creating the account, it'll take you through a series of prompts. And these prompts are pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm probably not going to go too in depth about them, but I'm gonna really quickly highlight a couple of really great features. So first I'm gonna enter my name um, and uh, your last name is optional, but just know that your name is always visible on your profile. Um, and your last name is only shared with matches. And so if you decide that you do not want your, uh, this new person, if you decide that you don't want this new person to know your full name, then definitely go ahead and omit it. But you do have the option to include it here, you'll see. All right, so go ahead and enter your email address, whatever you decide to do. Um, I'm a big advocate for having a specialized email that's just for, uh, what the heck was that outside? There was something, somebody's going crazy outside. But as I was saying, I'm a believer that having um, a special email just for dating is really important because if for some reason you find yourself um, wanting to disconnect from someone, all you have to do is get rid of that dating uh, email address and it's gone as opposed to fully removing your personal. So go ahead and go ahead if, uh, proceed. I can't talk. Uh, to the next prompt, I'm going to go ahead and enter my birth date, but just know that whatever you enter for your birth date cannot be changed and your age will be shown. So, um, so just keep that in mind. If you decide to lie about her age, there's no going back from it, but go ahead and, um, enter that information whenever you see fit. I'm going to go ahead and just select whatever date, which isn't necessarily my birthday, but go ahead and we're gonna proceed. It's gonna also ask you to confirm because I just wanna make sure you're, you're being honest. All right, so you have two options in terms of how you want the app to um, select your location. You can zoom into your neighborhood and proceed or you can get specific if you want the app to know exactly where you are. Um, if you go with your current location, just know that there are some prompts that are going to come up to, to uh, ask you if you approve of the apt uh, selecting or going through your locations. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in wide to any location in Manhattan, even though I don't live here. But just, you know, for the sake of conversation, this is where I'm saying that I am. All right, so... Here is where the app gets cool in my view, because a lot of the other apps like Facebook Dating and Coffee Meets Bagel get very mm, general um, and, and not as, what's the word I'm trying to search for? Not as inclusive with gender as we see here with Hinge. So if you go ahead and click the more button, you'll see that there are a lot of options for you to choose from in terms of your gender. So if you're gender non-conforming or say you're non-binary or you are female to male, um, transgender, whatever you feel represents you, you can list here, which is amazing. And it's hidden from your profile. No one really needs to know unless you're comfortable with sharing that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and tell everyone that I'm a woman um, just because I happen to be. But if that is not the case for you, you can do that. Um, but another thing that I do want to point out, which you'll notice quite a bit as we move along, is that you do have the options to make certain things visible on your profile and others invisible. So again, a feature that is a little bit different from some of the other apps and where I feel um, puts you in the best position as a dater because you have more control of the information that is being presented. Um, and if for some reason you're not happy with what is being shared, you can change it. So go ahead and make it visible if that's something you want. If you don't, we can move on. All right, so sexuality is the same, gives you a full list, a full range of options. And again, gives you the option below to make it visible on the profile. Who do you want to date? Straightforward. So 
I'm just gonna quickly go through each one of these um, just to speed up the process. Height is always visible on the profile. Now again, you can list your ethnicity here if that's something you wanna do. If you prefer, to say, prefer not to say, you can say that. Again, another thing that I think is great about Hinge is just the, the flexibility. It's the flexibility for me, son, okay? I like being able to pick and choose the information that is out there. So let's just, let's just say word to all of the other apps. If you are not allowing your users to pick and choose the information that they want to share, then I feel like you are not in the best position. But Hinge is winning so far because, yes, there's a lot of options to choose from. There's a lot of prompts. But again, you can choose what's visible and what's invisible. If you feel like you are struggling with um, age discrimination, with racism, including and excluding information is very powerful. So here I have it listed as visible on profile, but let's just for the sake of conversation, uncheck it. About children, have children. What about children? Do you want them? Are you open to kids? Whatever your preference is. Again, you can choose to make it visible or invisible. Keep an eye on this tiny little checkbox here because it's really stealth as you're going along and you're swiping, you're answering and swiping, answering and swiping, um, that you're being thoughtful about which things you want to include or exclude. Now my hometown is Philly. I'm gonna go ahead and include it. And you know what? I'm gonna make it visible because shout out to Philly. For anybody who's from Philadelphia, we love our people. We are prideful. And it's great when you can connect with somebody who's from the same place as you. But again, you can exclude it if you want to. Now I'm going to skip a couple of, of, th of these and you'll, if, you'll see why in just a second. Um, I don't think that you should include your workplace or your specific occupation because I believe in keeping yourself off of Google. Um, but yeah, what you cannot skip is the highest level of education that you have. If you did not complete um, college, if you maybe don't want to have people connecting with you specifically because of your education, you can go ahead and just say prefer not to say. Or if you don't care and you don't have any uh, biases or opinions about it, go ahead and select whatever. But um, moving along, religious beliefs is another area where I feel like there's a lot of discrimination. So if you uh, want to include this information, you can do so. The list, the list is pretty, pretty decent. But prefer not to say is a good one uh, too. And just a quick highlight is that when you select prefer not to say, it automatically hides on the profile. So um, I, I'm not affiliated with Hinge, but I would go ahead and assume that the option is, or at least the, um, the question of religion is completely omitted as opposed to saying religion prefer not to say, but we'll inspect that in just a moment. What are your political beliefs? Ah, here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Do you drink, not drink, prefer not to say, or, you know, honestly, I drink sometimes. We're just going to say that. Do you smoke? No, I do not. Smoke weed? I personally don't. Use drugs? No. And here we go. So you'll see that it took us a little bit of time to go through the first, I wanna say maybe five minutes of our time just going through the initial prompts. But now this is where we get a little fun, right? We're selecting our videos and our photos. Um, it is requiring six photos. Having done this already before with Hinge and this app, you can select one photo and originally or none right now to bypass, but in order for you to get matches, you are going to have to complete your profile. Here's where I feel like, again, Hinge is winning because 
Other apps will allow you to omit so much information and still send you matches, which is frustrating because these people aren't at all probably what you're looking like, looking for. And um, just the feeling overall is just disappointment, right? You're getting matches that you're not even interested in. So in this case, Hint is all about you giving them the information that they need so they can do their job. I love that. But pick a photo. You can select from Facebook, Instagram, upload, whatever picture you decide to go with. Wonderful. And just proceed to the next screen. So in this case, you'll see I'm choosing to skip it. Skipping means you won't be able to send or receive likes, message people, or match. You can choose to go back and include this information at a later date. But if you do skip, just know that you are missing out on some really great features. So I'm going to go ahead and skip for now. And I just want to get through the next prompts. And then eventually I'll show you how you can correct that. So write your profile answers. Select a prompt and write your own answers. There were three prompts required. Again, you can skip these things. But again, where Hinge is winning is that it's not allowing you to exchange with the other users until you take your time. So if you feel like other dating apps are just giving you the runaround with people who aren't really seriously seeking, then an app like Hinge is really great because they're really putting uh, people on notice. Like, yo, do your profile, show me your photo, fill out your prompts if you want to talk to people. I love that. I think that's exceptional in my view. Skipping and it gives you a warning. Boom. All right. Now, add a voice prompt to your profile. I know the best spot in town for, and here's what you can do by clicking this little pencil button, is you can change some of the prompts here that you see on the screen. Um, but just know you do have to answer. I just... I just think this is so refreshing in terms of dating apps, giving you more control um, and being an app that is really about trying to make connections as opposed to being an app that just wants users. Because I think that that's also the case for some apps is like they just want users. And yeah, I understand that from uh, an app perspective because matches matter. Me as a matchmaker, I can say that matches matter. It doesn't matter that you have like five really powerful, amazing people. When someone comes to you, they want to know that you have access to a lot. And if you don't have access to a lot, then they're less inclined to work with you. So an app is essentially doing the same thing. They care about having numbers. If, is there enough men on our app? Is there enough women on our app? Or are, are there enough gay singles on our app? And sometimes they focus so much so on users than they do on the user experience. Does that make sense? The experience that the user has is that they're going to be connected with people who want the same things, that have the same values, who have the same goals, and all the, all the like. And so if you're not... Um, if you are not looking for that or not taking it as seriously, other apps are still allowing you to use the platform. So this is where, again, I just feel like Hinge is knocking it out of the park. But as you see with the prompts, you can choose whatever. And um, doo -doo -doo -doo. what am I I'm looking for is where I'm going to go with this one. Now, um, you can record your voice. And I think I'm going to do it since we're here. Let's do it. Let's see. A really great partner who understands me. <laughs> of course, that's not the best answer, but you can redo the recording. And I think I will. Let me go back and let's do it again. Someone reliable, compassionate, loving, and kind. Someone who's really seeking a great relationship. That seems good. Let's go ahead. All right. So if you want to go ahead and sign up 
to their premium features, then you can <sighs> tip. So people who tend to sign up for dating um, features or premium services on dating apps tend to be people who are really legitimately looking for something. And that is the person that you're trying to connect with more times than not. Someone who's really serious about the journey. Of course, you are free to use the app as much as you want without having to pay. But there are limitations to not signing up for a platform. And this is actually something I talk about in the text community. So go ahead and look at the description below. It's free to join the community. Just go ahead and um, click or not even click. Text the number that's listed below with the word listed below. And we just give info on how to best maximize on dating apps. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and say check out later. Or excuse me, I clicked the wrong button. Sorry. Wait, hopefully I didn't sign up. <laughs> All right. All right. So here's what you will see when you go through the profile is that you'll see a list of people um, that are, you know, attractive people who are looking for love. But what you'll notice at the bottom of my screen here is that there is a tiny little person in the corner with a little um, icon, a little was this like a important icon and that little important icon is going to tell you to complete your profile bro because if it's not complete you're not able to go ahead and do what's needed so now that we are here this is this is where we need to spend our time just going through and answering the questions that's required of the app to edit your profile, it's going to tell you all the things that are missing. In this case, I'm missing a lot. Um, but just focus on the things that you know that are absolutely necessary. In this case, six photos are required. So go ahead and take your time completing the profile, or excuse me, completing the photos. Um, video prompts are required. So go ahead and do that information, fill out that uh, that little piece of information. And it's also asking you to create a poll, which I don't necessarily think is required. Let's, let's take a look. I don't think it's required, but you can go ahead and use that or do that if, if needed. But yeah, these are some of the options. It's going to tell you which specific, and I know I'm scrolling a lot. I apologize. I apologize. Cause I was looking at one thing and going to another place. So pardon my tutorial. This is this is me making mistakes during uh, the tutorial. But uh, real quick, you'll see six photos, videos required. It could be all videos. It could be all photos. It could be a mixture of them. But you want to make sure that you go ahead and do that. Um, and here below, you'll see three answers required for written prompts. Go ahead and spend some time thinking about which prompts. Let's click one. Um, hi, for me and my pet, let me teach you how to something that's special to me. Mm, let's try something that's special to me. Something that's special to me would be what? There we go. For some reason, I just couldn't click the button. Something that's special to me would be my son. Of course, don't be as generic as me, but go ahead and enter that information. And as you'll see, as we're going through... Uh, that little notice, that little red notice will go away. But at the top of the screen, you will see how much percentage you have done and what is left, right? So 11%. So let's go ahead and do another one. Rate my fit. Can we talk about how Glenn died? I can't talk, I can't type. How Glenn died on the walking dead. Can we talk about that? Boom. All right, next one. And you'll see at the top of the screen, every single answer that I provide is making that percentage go up. And of course, the goal is, is to be 100%, right? You want your 
your profile to be completely done so that the app does for you what the app is supposed to do. And if you click view, you'll see just like the little basic information that you filled out. It's cute, okay? All right, so next. You're here, New, no matches yet. I don't know why I'm struggling to speak, but this little icon, um, this little chat icon is where you will see your matches. Try boosting your profile. If that, if, once your profile is completed, and you feel like you want to get more, you can go ahead and do that. Here is where people will like you. People who like you will show up. You choose whether to connect with the people that like you. I love the fact that the app actually tells you what these little things are. Oh my God. How frustrating was it that like I went through, I think it was, it might have been Coffee Meets Bagel even Facebook dating, I just kind of felt like the first time around, it was like, what the hell am I clicking on? And what does this mean? I love that the app is telling you what each menu does. Kudos to Hinge. Let's see the information that they're going to give us on standouts. It's taking a while. I think my Wi-Fi is just moving slow. But as it's loading, I want to know really quickly from you, have you guys been using Hinge and what is your experience with it? Do you like the platform? Are you feeling it, not feeling it? Do you feel like it's uh, something that you would use or recommend to somebody else? Um, go ahead and leave a comment below in the description because here we love to share the knowledge and the wealth and the information with everybody else so that they can have a really great experience. Some reason, Standouts is still having issues with me. So, um, so yeah, I will definitely report back to you really quick in the comments below on standouts, but add a new video prompt um, is, is a cute. I feel like the video prompt is a really great way to curb catfishing. Um, and this is something that I think other platforms could do more of because it's very easy to find a stock image of someone or even stock video to accompany the image. It's just, it's just that good right now, okay? to um to make it seem like a person is real on a on an app but there is nothing like actually seeing someone speak words <laughs> on the app so that you know that the person is who they say they are so i i just think that's such a great thing um it's asking me if i want to do it right now okay um Let's do a daily essential. So you see me here. You basically just start recording. This is just a test, only a test. <laughs> this is just a test, only a test. <laughs> this is just a test. So you see how crazy that looks, but hey, you understand exactly how it works. Now, all right, so while that is processing, let's see if the, we can go back to the standouts. Boom. All right, so Jasmine in edit. I want to talk really briefly about standouts. So the video, as you can tell, did not come up uh, with standouts earlier on in the tutorial, but it did come on after I was done with the video. And standouts actually means outstanding content from people, most your type, and it's refreshed daily. So when you're on the app, you'll probably see it come up um, and you can review it every day. It refreshes with new people who may not necessarily be a match, but might be someone you might be interested in. Okay, back to the video. Um, before we wrap up, because I know we talked a lot and it's been a longer tutorial than I really wanted. Um, complete profile for access. So we see all the things that we can do here. Um, it's a very, I feel like this app just really is like a, what's the word I want to use? Um, oh, it will come to me. But it's like an app that like what you see is, there you go. What you see is what you get. There aren't anything crazy going on here that makes you go, oh, I don't know how to figure this out. Like it, it basically tells you what the thing does and you do it. And I love that. 
Um, but in, in the spirit of getting more information, if you need to go to the help center, which is listed here, if you click on this little profile, this little man at the bottom, um, you can, you can go ahead and, uh, select the help center. If you're having some specific questions, again, I do not work for Hinge, so I don't have all the answers to a lot of your questions, but I will often respond to your questions and like really quickly give you the information that I think is accurate based on my little research. But this is exactly where you wanna go if you really need to get more. Um, but if for some reason you're feeling like Hinge is not for me, click settings, scroll down to the bottom and delete your account. I mean, it's really, really, really simple. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you felt like the information that you were able to gather about Hinge has been good for you and will allow you to make an informed decision on whether or not this app is for you. I think that this app is actually for a lot of people, especially those who are really frustrated with online dating and feeling like online dating is not great. Now, one caveat with online dating and just apps overall if you happen to be in a dating market where there's just not a lot of singles, it really doesn't matter what app you use if there's just not a lot of singles in your, in your city. So that might actually mean having to look outside of your area, which expands your pool, expands your options. But just know that sometimes the frustration you might be having with an app is down to you not completing your profile, maybe not having um, the type of photos, that would be great for uh, for you or, or appealing to someone else, or maybe the location that you happen to be in just isn't the best. So if you happen to have any issues and you just want more help, more support, more advice, more just how to's, just more everything, Jasmine, just give me more everything, more everything, then go ahead and join my text community. The information is linked below, both in the comment section and in the description. And it's pretty straightforward. Just text a word to this number and you are on the list, love. That's it. It's, it's it. You get a new tip every single week. And we're also exposing or uh, exposing is not the good, is not the word. We are also sharing new apps as they emerge. So if you want to know, let me slow down. If you want to know about a new app as it comes out, um, maybe something in a new market, just, just a new new, then definitely join the community and um, just be on the list. Okay. All right. Well, I will see you next time, guys. I'm going to be doing more videos on more dating stuff. So tune back in next time.